gloves. Everybody needs gloves. Nearly two weeks after the attack, okay. sights. And then I do the end one over here first, and then we'll throw a line up there. And sounds <laughs> of hope. Nice. Okay, yeah. Perfect. Unprecedented generosity. That's a truck bringing them home. Oh, Gracie's gonna be so happy. Foreshadowing a recovery, months, even years to come. From Waukesha's neighborhoods to the calls coming in. Between yesterday and today, you helped raise more than $256,000. Millions of dollars have been raised to help the victims and their families. Already, people from all 50 states and more than a dozen countries worldwide have donated to the United for Waukesha Community Fund. I think um, what we've seen is unprecedented as far as the generosity. The Waukesha County Community Foundation and United Way are partnering in the effort in what will be the largest distribution of funds in the foundation's history. And now safeguards are being put in place to ensure the money is distributed properly. Our goal is to get this money into the hands of these families as quickly as we can while doing the due diligence to make sure we're protecting them and the donors from fraud. 12 News has learned a committee has been formed, including city, local business and school leaders to oversee the distribution. And an application process for victims will soon begin. The foundation is also receiving help from other communities nationwide that have done the same in response to tragedy. Uh, are you concerned that people may try to take advantage? I mean, not very. I mean, I hate to say that. We're taking it seriously. We want to make sure we're doing it right, but this is a really special community. We have the trusted leaders who are going to counsel us and be part of that committee. And then, um, you know, we're going to start, unfortunately, with the families of the deceased and then work on um, the next group, which would be those that have been hospitalized. And beyond the foundation, other Waukesha fundraisers are seemingly popping up everywhere. Like on GoFundMe. Several dozen individual pages raising money for victims and groups impacted have been created. GoFundMe says it immediately mobilized its crisis response team and created this hub with the pages the organization has verified. The company saying it'll work with each individual organizer to ensure the money collected is properly transferred. And when a page popped up claiming to raise money for the suspect Daryl Brooks, GoFundMe removed it. The company telling 12 News, we removed the fundraiser before any funds were raised. GoFundMe prohibits raising money for the legal defense of an alleged violent crime. The healing in Waukesha is just beginning. The Community Foundation and United Way say they'll collect donations through at least the end of the year, bringing some light to an incredibly dark time. In Waukesha, I'm Matt Smith, WISN 12 News.